today we shall discuss some of the important organic reaction interconversions and the given question has been asked in the iit roorkee 2000 examination let us discuss this question first the given question is there is a compound a on reaction with alumina at 250 degree centigrade gives the b b on reaction with the hydroiodic acid followed by the reaction with this silver hydroxide gives this c so this compound c again on reaction with the alumina at 150 degree centigrade gives the compound b the same compound b here and b again on reaction with the diborane followed by the on reaction with the ho2 and oh minus gives the compound a so here so many important things are there and the question still not completed they had given some clue in the form of the text so in the above reactions scheme in the reaction scheme a and c these two are isomers and b has the formula of c5h10 so b compound formula is given at the same time they are saying that a and c both are the isomers and this b compound has the formula c5h10 which can also be obtained from the product of the reactions of ethyl magnesium bromide and acetone dimethyl ketone means acetone so give the structures of a b and c so the hint in this particular reaction is first of all to find out the uh, chemical structure for the compound b formula is given c5h10 and they said that this compound can be obtained by the reaction of product of these of the reaction of the these two compounds so let us find out first so solution strategy now so in this particular contest initially try to find out the chemical structure of the compound c so that can be obtained by the reaction of the ethyl magnesium bromide with the acetone so let us take ch3 ch2 mg br ethyl magnesium bromide where carbon gets the negative charge magnesium gets the positive charge because of the uh, more electronic difference between the metal and the non metal later we shall take the acetone so this particular nucleophile attacks over the carbonyl carbon and the pi electrons will be shifted over to the oxygen you know the reason why the nucleophile is attacking only this carbon why because here also due to the electronegative difference between the oxygen and the carbon oxygen gets the partial negative charge whereas carbon gets the partial positive charge so that nucleophilic attack will take place and afterwards this magnesium bromide with the positive charge shall be added to this negative charge and partially negative charge oxygen hence this particular step of the reaction is called the nucleophilic addition reaction so now let us try to write down the molecule ch3 ch2 this ch2 is connected to this carbon so this carbon is with the oxygen this oxygen later shall be connected to the magnesium bromide like this now the apart from this oxygen this carbon still have the two methyl groups so let's try to write down those two methyl groups like this so afterwards this is not this is just intermediate compound not the complete product so it has to be subject with the hydrolysis acid hydrolysis so when it is subject with the acid hydrolysis then we get the molecule like this ch3 ch2 c oh ch3 and ch3 so this is a molecule but in the text they had given that b has the formula of the c5h10 means no oxygen is present at the same time this cone can be obtained from the product of the reactions of methyl magnesium ethyl magnesium bromide with acetone so we have got one particular product and from that product we are going to get the b compound so 
let us try to subject with the dehydration process. When it is dehydrated, according to this Hedgeff rule, we get the alkene like this CH3, CH, double bond C, CH3, CH3. Now you just count the number of carbon atoms here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 carbons and hydrogens. This is 9 hydrogens and this one hydrogen totally 10 hydrogens. So this is the chemical structure of the compound B. So we have got the compound B chemical structure. This is the compound B. I'll write here. Now here two questions arises usually. Let us start the reaction from here. So this is compound B on reaction with the HI followed by the AgOH gives the compound C. And here also compound B is there. So initial let us complete the B to C not C to B again. So now let us find out the compound B on reaction with the HI followed by the reaction with the silver hydroxide. Usually people do not remember the silver hydroxide just like aqueous KOH gives the compound C. So I will take the compound B here. This is the compound B on reaction with the hydroidic acid initially. So it's just like a Markovnikov's addition. So hydrogen will be added to the double bonded carbon with more number of hydrogens and iodine shall be added to the this tertiary carbon. So we get the CH3, CH2, C, CH3, CH3, iodine. So first step is over. Second step is with the silver hydroxide, AgOH. So when AgOH is used, OH nucleophile replaces this iodine. Actually, it has to come from the backside and not necessarily tertiary carbon. So that carbocation shall be formed. So CH3, CH2, C, CH3, CH3, OH. So this is the compound C. So we have got the both the compound B as well as compound C. So two B compounds are over, one compound C is also over. Okay. So now the question is, uh, what about the compound A? They said clearly that compound A and C both are the isomers. So it is simple thing that compound C we have got. This compound C is a tertiary alcohol. And afterwards, here again, they said one more important thing that I forgot to inform you. Though the compound A and C are isomers, and both on dehydration again given the compound B. Compound B means again this molecule. So this is possible only when this OH group either placed on the tertiary carbon or to this carbon atom. So in that two conditions only, dehydration of this alcohol gives the this type of the alkene. So that's why so compound A must be having the OH group here. So I'll write the compound A now. Compound A shall be having OH group on this particular carbon hydrogen CH3 and CH3. This is compound A. Okay. And what else is left behind is again this compound A we are getting from the compound B. So now let us take the compound B again this compound B. This is also one more clue. You just take the compound B here. This compound B on reaction with the B2H6, second one followed by H2O2, OH minus. This is just like the hydrolysis of the alkene but gives the anti Markovnikov's product. So that hydrogen shall be added over here and OH group here.
and one more important thing to be discussed in this sequence of reactions is temperature this temperature i shall discuss once after writing the complete products here so i'll write down the products here every time i am just uh, moving the screen it may be uh, irritating you just uh, please try to watch it so i'll write down the compound a again here ch3 ch oh ch3 l2o3 250 degrees centigrade and it gives the compound b this is the compound a ch double c ch3 and ch3 compound b compound b on reaction initially with the hydroidic acid second one with the silver hydroxide gives the another isomer of the compound a this is compound c and this compound c on reaction with the alumina l2o3 at 150 degrees centigrade gives again compound b so this compound b again on reaction with the uh, hydroboration p2h6 followed by reaction with the h2o2 oh minus is giving again compound a and if you get confused of any of these products it is simple thing that about the temperature how to use this temperature and what is the use of this temperature here so in this temperature we are using the high temperature in this step we are using the less temperature in this particular step and both in both the cases we are getting the b as the compound that is alkene as the product from the alcohols okay so 250 degree centigrade temperature we are using because this is a secondary alcohol 150 degree centigrade temperature we are using because this is a tertiary alcohol the dehydration of the tertiary alcohols is easier than the secondary alcohols than the primary alcohols so this is the reason why we are using this type of the temperature if you like this explanation do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you